What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. We are starting my favorite world in this whole game. I feel like I've been talking about it ever since we started this game. This is Click Clock Woods and we're gonna be doing uh, probably spring and summer in this episode. And then uh, next episode we'll do fall and winter. So the doors are all locked and you gotta find these little switches within each of the like uh, seasonal versions of each of the world. So this will open up spring for us. And as you can see, like we're actually inside the world already now. So, um, let me grab this. There's actually four notes and these count toward the note total. Oh, look at the spring rain, spring showers. I love it. And isn't the music out here just so calming? Okay, let's see the world. <laughs> Isn't the music so happy? Okay, so we've got those little dudes for um, enemies. I don't know what those are, Robin Hoods or something? And then there's a bunch of these, but I have enough mumbo tokens, honestly, that I don't think I need to worry about them. So um, basically the whole gimmick about this world, let me see if I can get up so you guys can see more. Um, these guys are fun. They essentially replace the slugs. So this world is just like a big spiraling world. Uh, and it's, it's just a giant tree. So you, we're going to climb all the way up there and there's stuff to see and explore and things to interact with all the way up. So, um, first though, let's start with the ground floor. So there's some health, which we don't need yet. We've got a little lake. I just think this music is so happy and bouncy. I love it. I also love all the little like bird noises and stuff in the background. So here's a, a character that we can't really do anything with yet. Somebody move this boulder. Naughty. Can't get in his house. As in gnaw, like, like gnawing. <laughs> now there's a one up there. I might grab that. If I can get up there. Oh, I don't know. Let's go around this way. There's another bull. Let's see what else is out here. The spring showers is such a nice touch. Only time we've seen like uh, weather changes and stuff in the game so far. Okay, so here, um, this is like a little garden patch, I guess. So, of course, we just need to put some eggs in there. Let's see, how do we do the egg? Not that. I always forget how to do the backwards egg. There we go. How many? Four? Five? <laughs> gigantic leaves sprout. Okay, and now the thing about this world, one of the reasons why I love it so much is like, you kind of see the things that you do make a difference in the world as time passes. And I think that's such a fun concept. So like, we're gonna take care of that flower now for the next year, essentially, in Banjo-Kazooie time. Um, whoops, wait a minute. Ah, sneaky. And we have a banjo, or not a banjo, a mumbo um, hut in this world. So this will be the last and the best transformation of the game. But I don't know. Do you think we should, I think we should climb first? I'm not really sure what to do first. I kind of like to get these things out of their holes and then I leave the health most of the time so that I know, oh man. So that I can tell which ones I've, already killed and which ones I haven't. Well, in this case, let me go here. These teeny tiny little, they're like leaves that haven't quite um, like budded out yet. Now, I think I did get that one, but I didn't leave the health. Okay, so should we start the ascent, I guess? Here's another bird. Now see, these will be bigger in summer. I almost kind of think maybe let's get those in summer. I mean, go that way in the summer. Okay, so first things first. You know, use a gold feather to get the gold feather. I don't think so. Hmm, nothing over here, I guess. 
I forget those what those are called. I usually call them like clappy traps or something like that, but <laughs> they do have a real name. Just not sure what it is. And uh, you can like, you can use your gold feathers to get what they've got. But um, the ability that Mumbo gives us is also going to allow us to get around those. Okay, and then check it out. We have a beehive. A huge beehive. I'm not sure that I can actually... Oh, Artie scared me. He's sitting under my um, desk and he like kicked my chair. It scared me. Um, yeah, I can't get in there yet. But we will, we will. <laughs> I just love the bird squawks in the background. I mean, this doesn't get any more upbeat and happy than this. So here's a cabin, and the cabin will slowly be more and more built every season that we go into. I just think the concept of this world is so fun. Um, okay, so this can be a little bit tricky to... <gasps> okay, that was close. <laughs> okay. Getting higher and higher here. And another Robin Hood, I guess. Oh, and here's the door for summer. It's really hard to choose a favorite season. I think it might be a... Uh, Chomp Chew. Nabnut likes acorns. I'll just eat a few more. I think, I think it might be a tie for me between spring and fall. Is there anything else in here worth grabbing? Nabnut. That's a fun name. I have a farm animal in my Stardew Valley farm named Nabnut. I also have a farm animal named Collywobble in my Stardew Valley farm, which is the name of the cauliflower enemies in the very first world, Spiral Mountain. Bam, 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 bam. We're up to 33. Okay, now this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love this world. Look at this. It's a gigantic egg. So we get to hatch this egg, and then we get to take care of the bird inside of it until winter. So let's go ahead and start that quest. Me, eerie, mighty eagle needs sleep now. <laughs> he said mama. <laughs> Look at him wearing a gigantic diaper. I mean, he's adorable. Love him. Um, we'll have more to do with him later. In the next season. So, this is pretty treacherous. I don't know if we should have come up here with Bam Banjo or if we should have seen Mumbo first. No, oh, see, this is locked. So we got a Jinjo in the Claptrap here. Um, we'll wait on that, though. Okay, so these things, like I said, you can get rid of them with the eggs. I don't know what all is in here if... Oh, there's a... Okay, there's a couple things in here, I guess. First of all, let's grab that and let's grab this. First, Jiggy of the World. Nice. Now, what else is in here? I'm really not sure. Let me do first person and look around a little bit. So there's another one up there. Um, not seeing much else. So I'm going to wait on that other one up. I'll try to come back and get it, but I think it might be easier to get after we do the transformation. So that's like, this is the top. This is as far as you can climb with Banjo. So that's a pretty nice view of the whole world from up here. Now let me see if I can get back down without breaking my neck. So this was, that's Eerie's Nest. I also just love the name Eerie. I love how it's spelled too. Um, this is Nabnut's Hut. Oh, that was close. Oh, what's this? There's like a jump pad here. Oh, you know what? Ow. Well, 
<laughs> That's probably not the last time that'll happen. Actually, I'll grab that. Let's go see... Mumbo Jumbo. Grab some notes on the way. Oh my goodness, what? All right, so uh, this is brambles right here. You can't walk in those. One of Grunty's many tricks. Let's, uh, here we go. The wellies! And now I want to check if there's anything up on top of his hut. Doesn't look like it. Wake up, Mumbo! Yeah, 25. Oh, we should go up here first. Just some eggs. I can never remember if there's anything good up here or not, but I guess I need the eggs. Okay, any guesses what our transformation is this time? It's on. And super cute. <laughs> oh, fat little bee. Mumbo magic, much good. Bee is best yet. I, I would agree. Look at that. <laughs> the little backpack and everything. So perfect. And now check it out. We can just fly. I mean, like, fly up here. <laughs> it's customary. That's what you have to do immediately when leaving Mumbo's hut. But there is actually something up here, though. So um, let's fly around the tree. We can get a good look at the world and stuff. I wish my camera angle was a little bit better. Um, I swear. Yeah, here it is. And you can't make it up here with Banjo. Now, how do I land? Uh... How do I land? Uh, there's a, there's no landing gear! There's no landing button! Uh... Oh my word. <laughs> okay, we don't need to land. Let me go get the Jinjo. Now, the Claptrap thingies kind of... They don't mind the bee. So that's eerie. So let me go around this way. The Jinjo should be up here. And I think I can use the bee to go inside that door. And try to get the... Um... Yeah, see, they don't even mind. <laughs> I mean, look at how cute! <laughs> I love it! Now I can probably... I could see. Oh, it's really hard to steer in this confined space. You can do it, Banjo! Okay. Now, if only I could land. When I press, what button is this? The X button. The, um. No, maybe not. Oh, it's when I was going down. I was like, why does it sound like it went up into, like, high gear? Okay, so let's fly around and see what else we can do. We can get all the stuff out of the clap traps. Um... <laughs> it's kind of cute just to waddle. Waddle along. The problem is really landing. Okay. Oh, we can go into the beehive. Now I'm a bee. I'll fit right in. I love the little backpack just bouncing. Actually, maybe I should go... Land Banjo! Oh gosh, I hit the wrong button. I really wish that there was a... I don't know, an easier way to land. Okay. Hello, fat little bee. We Zubbas are guarding Grunty's golden honey piece. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. 
So I can't get the um, the honey piece yet, but I can come in here and get the Jinjo. Well, the only way you'd be able to get this Jinjo, I think, unless it would still be there in summer, I don't know for sure. And the notes are split up between um, all the seasons, so it's not 100 for each season. They're just kind of scattered around in each season, all totaling 100. So, um, I'm not sure what else to look at while we're here, but let me just kind of do a little fly around real quick, and then if it seems like we've got it all, we'll go to summer. I'll take that. Oh, we've missed some notes. So that's kind of the tough part is um, if we if we do miss notes or something in this season, it'd be pretty hard to find them later because it's going to be hard to know which season you missed them in. We can grab the one up. That's a honeycomb over there. I just want to go. Let me go back toward Mumbo's hut and just make sure that there's not any notes. That's the flower. Yeah, I think uh, I think we got him. So let's go, let's go back toward the door, and now we can go to the summer season. Never gonna get over that little bouncing backpack. How cute! Even on foot, he's cute. That will be. Okay, so summer, <laughs> it changes drastically, actually. It's gonna look way different. So let's get out the door. Actually, uh, I'll grab that, I guess, for good measure. Why not? This is the last transformation, so, I mean, they're pretty useless now. Okay, okay, let me just show you. When I was little, remember how I said in Monster, Mad Monster Mansion that I used to like to climb up that um, clock tower and just kind of sit there because it just had like really nice ambience. I used to like to do the same in this world too. Especially like let's find let's find fall. Here we go. Just come up here. Listen to the wind. The frogs. The leaves. It's so and then like you've got the gray sky above. I don't know. It's just so like uh, moody. I love it. I think each one has a slightly different... Oh, I thought... Oh, this is summer. So now you can kind of hear, like, the summer bugs. And then spring should have the, s the showers. So you can kind of pick and choose, like, which one you like best. So you can sit here and listen to the birds and the rain. <laughs> I don't know what winter would have. Winter seems cold and desolate. Oh, it's like... Wind and snow. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go down in here and see what summer looks like. It's honestly, it's, it's kind of easier to walk than it is to fly. So you can't actually um, explore any other season as the bee, sadly. Mumbo magic get weak. It's, it's really a shame, too, but I guess it might make the worlds really easy. Oh, there's Eerie! Hung Eerie hungry now. Need five caterpillars. So this is summer. Now the grass is long. Everything's um, dead, <laughs> I guess. So here's one of our little caterpillars. Eek! Hungry animals like caterpillars. Yes, they do. Okay, and now remember those little nubs of leaves? Now they've all opened up. And follow the notes on them. So things have changed a little bit. Now instead of a bunch of eggs on the wall, we've got a bunch of red feathers. And the notes will all kind of be in different places. Oh, and then the biggest change is that the lake has dried. And the music is kind of like slow and lazy, like a hot summer day. You look pretty strong. Can you move this boulder for me? Sure. Weren't the um, the baddies wearing full 
Yeah, they were wearing shirts before, and now they're not. I've never noticed that before. So. Wow, what strength. Come inside, and I'll give you a reward. So you actually can't get inside, though. Not in this season. Um, not even with Kazooie legs. So we'll revisit that uh, in a different season. And if we go back to spring, it wouldn't make a difference. I don't think. Anyways. Oh, and here's the fall door. Yeah, summer, I don't know. They're all really fun. The seasons are all really fun. And like really well done to to really make it feel like you're in the same world, but also everything has changed, you know? I don't think I got this bird. So I got that bird. Let's go this way. Let's just kind of make our rounds again. Um, and we got to gather caterpillars for Eerie. We've got to go over here and see our flower and look who it is. None other than our old friend, Gobi. Poor Gobi. I really feel bad for him. But it must be done. Caterpillar? Hi, Gobi. Oh no, it's you two again. Gobi thought he was safe here. <laughs> Sorry, Gobi. Water my plants! Will you stop doing that? It took me ages to find more water. Okay, so our plant is grown, growing, but not fully grown yet. Do I need eggs? I guess so. You can hear Eerie up there snoring. Oh, and now we have little um, swarms of bees. They just kind of attack. I don't think we've had those before. Let me see if I can get around up here. Oh. That's three. He said he wanted five. Great. There's actually way more caterpillars than you need, so I'm not super worried about not being able to find enough. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go see what Mumbo Jumbo's got to say. So the boots are gone. If we can make it up here. No! Oh man. My bramble field makes you yelp. And loss of life, it sure does help. <laughs> That's number four. Hi, Mumbo. Too hot for magic. Mumbo wants suntan. <laughs> He's got a lawn chair in here now. None of his uh, fires or whatever these are. Tiki torches are lit. But he might have something up here. Let's see. You got anything for me, Mumbo? A token. Who cares about tokens now? Okay. Um, let's start the climb. Oh, I guess this would be for going up, not over there. I guess that makes sense. Now, let me see. There is... I thought there was like a leaf path somewhere. Maybe it's up more. Anything back here? Oh, look, a Jinjo hidden down there. Okay, we gotta go get the Jinjo. Hiding in the yellow grass. Come on, Banjo. You know, I'm starting to rethink. I I said in Mad Monster Mansion that I thought that Banjo was like a normal sized bear, but Everything in this world seems extra large, too, so maybe Banjo is like a miniature. He's a mini bear. Oh, no. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Keeping your footing is tough. Stay close to the tree trunk, I think, is the key. 
Oh gosh, and a jump pad. <laughs> uh, gosh, don't pet me. <laughs> oh, okay, that wasn't there before. Was it? I swear it wasn't. Maybe it's only here in the summer. And now why is there a jump pad here? Higher? Huh. Let's see where it leads. Okay. Not bad. I I don't know if we missed anything now. Yeah, I mean, there's the honey, the hive over there. And I see notes, so we better go back. Oh, gosh, no! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oops. Uh, which way did we go? This way, I guess? Jeez, man. Those falls. But we don't have to take the leaves up this time. We can just go this way. I don't even know. I guess we did go this way last time, didn't we? Seems like we had to have. So there's a caterpillar. I hear it somewhere. I want the gold feather, too. There it is. I hear Eerie up there squawking. Okay. <laughs> That's always so satisfying. We've got three notes here. And now there's actually this trap door on the top of this hive um, that we can go through with Banjo. Now the Zubbas are going to be after us. The honey bear. He's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Sting him, Zabaz. What were the frogs called? Does anybody remember in um in Bubble Gloop Swamp those red frogs that um we had to basically do the same thing with? He's beaten us. Oh well, we were getting bored of guarding it anyway. <laughs> Let me just see if there's anything back here. We can't fit out the hole, but... No. What jiggy number was that? Was that four? I forgot to look at the number. Okay, so well, that's it for the Zubbas. Bum, 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 bum. I can't help it. It's just so happy. Okay, what's here? Oh, this is the cabin. So now take a look at the cabin. Now it's got walls and a roof. So still no door. But I think there's something inside of it now too. But let me go around and look at the back. They got windows. Oh, I thought there was going to be like a one-up or something back there. So is that, was that a, well, that's a one-up. Isn't there a jiggy? Yeah, there's a jiggy in here, too. So, I don't know if waiting to get this in the fall would be less dangerous. We'll take a look, I guess. I'm not even sure if the jiggy would be here in the fall, either. Oh, no! Well, we're over the water. <laughs> Just missed. Oh, there is no water. I forgot. <laughs> Okay, back up we go. Too bad there's really not a shortcut either. That's the flower. I guess the way that we went the first time. Oh no. Oh gosh. I've only got two health left. Um, here, let me break this thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Woo! That was close. Oh, here's a caterpillar. Let's grab this guy. Maybe I better keep my health full for the inevitable falls. Okay. Up again. Up again. 
I'll take that. So, don't need to go that way. I'm gonna save those, just in case I need them later. Okay, here we go. Where did I fall before? Was it here? Or was it in the cabin? Oh yeah, it was in the cabin. Um, I think I just... Let's just go down. Uh, this bridge is a little bit more built now. So at least there's that. Okay, let's go. Making sure I didn't miss anything. So I guess you could have, um, dropped down and gotten the jiggy from right here that was on that ledge. But that's okay. And now these are a little bit more built out now, too. Oh. I guess that's slick. I'm gonna use Banjo. I think Banjo's are just a little bit easier to control. There's another caterpillar down here. And should we check on Nab Nuts? Probably. Hello, Nab Nuts. Oh! <laughs> I think you might have overeaten Nab Nuts, eaten too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter. Oh, sucks. Sucks, friend. <laughs> got a major stomach ache. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. He's got bubble guts. All right, now I don't remember if we climbed this part of the... Oh no! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, we didn't go all the way down to the bottom. Quite. I mean, nearly. That felt like a rookie mistake. I love how there's like a, a knot, like a wood, wood grain knot right there. I mean, they could have totally just copy pasted the graphics from the other one, but they made it slightly different. I don't know, there's something about this world that's just so, like, it's got so much charm. And the sound of the birds and the music. Okay, so, uh... Okay, so the trick is to just jump. Don't double jump. Okay, Eerie! On one hand, I love taking care of Eerie, and then on the other hand, I it makes me sad because he doesn't stay. Look at that uh, big old safety pin holding his diaper together. All right, well, I've got your lunch, dinner. Yummy, juicy caterpillars. And we do have to watch him eat all five of them. <laughs> and now <laughs> he's gonna grow. Barb. Eerie full now, needs more sleep. <laughs> How cute is he? He's huge now. I love him. He's like my favorite character in the game. Oh, uh, besides Grunty. I do love Grunty. Oh, that was close. Um, I don't know if there's anything new up here or not, but let's go. They are slowly, you can see, like, there's more of these than there was in the last, uh, season. So somebody's hard at work around here. Nothing there. I don't know if there's anything in here or not. I kind of think not, but let's check. Oh, another one-up. They're really loading the one-ups on. I think that I have pretty thoroughly um, explored summer, though. So I think um, I think we would be safe at this point to kind of move on to winter. It didn't seem like there was hardly any notes in this season at all. I didn't look at the count before. I don't know what we were at when we left spring and... Or what we're at now. 
But I felt like I only grabbed like a handful here, maybe. And there's really no easy way to get down. Guess we could take the leaves. Probably here we could just drop. There we go. Yeah, we went to Mumbo. We saw Gobi. We did the flower. We did Eerie. I think we've done it all, honestly. So, and we opened the door to fall. I think we're good to go on. So, of course, um, next season is fall. So everything's going to be fall leaves. It's really, really pretty. I love it. It's hard to choose for me between spring and fall, but we'll see what fall looks like in the next episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this world as much as I am, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like or subscribe if you're new here for more gameplay videos just like this one. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. I'm live on YouTube every Saturday, so stop by sometime and say hi. Can't wait to see you there.